It is a privilege for me to be here tonight together with my parents, my wife and children, my, my incredible parents traveling from Florida, <laughs> my three daughters and son-in-law flew into Israel. For the celebration, to my wife, Rookie, for a long time dream to come true. This is a very exciting moment for the family, including my uncles, brother, brother in laws, sister, sister in laws, uncle, nephews, cousins, family, and the whole community. In most occasions, a person receives recognition after a job well done. In this case, even before Ruki has stepped into the judge's chair, she had strong support from the community for receiving 68,000 votes, which gives her a great recognition that she can have. Being together with Rookie, I witnessed countless hours she spends helping others. She is dedicated 24 hours a day. She's given her heart and soul to help children at risk, as I mentioned before, yeshivas, and forming Esther Snushin, the first woman volunteer at EMT group. She doesn't work for recognition. In some cases, she's criticized, but still Rookie stands to do what's right. <laughs> While Rookie came to the idea to open this form's organization, she came to discuss it with me, like everything else. <laughs> and I said to myself, this is a 24-hour job. How could you do it? But then I thought, she's anyways working 24-7, so I don't think it's a big deal. <laughs> you would think a couple that like us, that work hard, should have lots of vacations together. But even when we go on vacation, there never is an automatic reply on the phone, no automatic on the, on the emails. We went to Israel now for, for young Yomtev, and we were there for young Kippur. Rookie gets a call that maybe she can take a job, some vacation, for the biggest synagogue in Israel that's there, a few thousand people, and she volunteered to be the EMT for the, for, for the holiday. I would say no, but Rookie said yes, and she took the job. That she was that I went on vacation with her together. She tried to take an organization mentioned before the Derek, risk the kids that are at risk. She was trying to expand it to Israel, meeting kids there, meeting parents, meeting uh, 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 rabbis uh, uh, from the, from schools, trying to implement, not giving up. Then I realized after this, I realized that the word vacation I crossed out of my vocabulary. <laughs> I still don't know everything else what she does. I'll finish with you. I could stand here all night thanking the countless individuals for standing by us with all with strength, giving us support, getting to the primary, getting to the election. With this strength that you gave us, the, the community, this will give us continued strength to, to work further with 
success. It was a certain amount of pride that the Hispanic community had, because there had never been a Hispanic DA in the state or the city of New York. And so I understand the pride for the Hasidic community, and I congratulate all of you for your accomplishments today. qualified person to be a judge and a person that you can look up to in your community and your children can look up to and your families can look up to know that you're represented on the bench. So thank you, congratulations, Judge, and look forward to working with you. Constitution that I will support the Constitution of the United States of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York and the Constitution of the State of New York and that I will faithfully and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office discharge the duties of the office judge in the city of New York judge in the city of New York according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability Moscow Which has a double meaning. 
Modea also needs to admit, because when you thank someone, you're making an admission that you couldn't do it without them. I thank you all and so many people. I couldn't be here today without all of you. But I will try very briefly to thank some people that have to be mentioned. And I will start by, I will start by thanking three men with the name of David. Three special men. The first is my husband. David Fryer, or Sweet David Fryer, as we call him in Laura Park. My husband of more than 30 years, can I know her? I remember the first day of the petitioning process when we got those green forms that had to be signed, and we knew we had to collect thousands of signatures. On the very first day, Sweet David came home from morning services, from Dominic Chakras, and he said to me, Ruthie, I got 40 signatures. <laughs> is my uncle David Schmidt. We hired Judge David Schmidt, who's been my mentor for more than 20 years. He encouraged me through law school, and he guided me every single day throughout this campaign. He was the paradigm of altruism. Nothing ever stopped him when he came to my campaign. Dilly, thank you for the bottom line. And I thank King David for writing the book of Psalms to him, the prayer book of courage and faith, which inspired me and encouraged me in the face of so much adversity. The verse of Tehillim, which I internalize, is She see Hashem the Nekti Summit. I have placed God before me always. And the overriding message of Tehillim is that success or failure is truly in the hands of God. I want to thank my family, and I'll start with my parents, Tati. When we grew up, there was nothing we couldn't do. You supported me, you encouraged me, and you really made me believe that I could do anything I wanted to do. And Mommy, my best friend, and the smartest woman I know, you always taught us that we could do anything so long as it wasn't illegal, immoral, or against the Torah. My mother and father in law also support me all the time and always made me feel like the daughter was always right. I want to thank my children who really ran my campaign for me. My oldest son, my Shalai, didn't sleep at night. Love posters around Bar Park, meeting out flyers, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, much of was doing it. And tonight's event is what it is because my Shalai worked for one day to make this happen. <laughs> my son Shlami made sure that we did the mitzvah of Shalai Haken at least three or four times. <laughs> and when it came to primary day and election day, he was out there. Vote for Fryer. This is my mama. Vote for Fryer. It's my mother. And I want to tell you the reaction that was, the nicest is, are you serious? And he got me so many votes. And I thank you so much. And my son Milo said to me, from day one, he was going to help me on my campaign. And he said, Mommy, no one knows what you do. We have to make a video clip of what you do. And he worked hours going through my archives of pictures and pictures that he made that video clip at the end of one mile. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> and, and my daughter, Shindi, and my son, Lashia. Thank you. Thank you for coming from Israel to be here with me tonight. And thank you for praying at all the holy sites to run my campaign. I know it made a difference. And my youngest, my twins, Leigh and Fagy, 
Thank you for getting permission to leave seminary and come here for this job. It wouldn't be the same without you. And thank you for helping me during the month of June when you were studying for final exams and practicing for high school graduation. You were there for me. I want to thank my talented sister, Bobby Friedman, who's always been helping me hours and on end creating social media to help all of my causes. And Javi, your little son always remains with me. Javi would always tell me, Ruchi, you have to ignore the misguided people who oppose you and try to stop you. Ruchi, keep on going. Javi, I'll keep on going. My aunt, the famous Deborah Heller, the Hallow Maiden, I cannot thank you enough. From day one of the campaign, you were there for me. In the blazing sun, every day you were there with me. And you made campaigning fun. You made it bearable. Thank you so much. And my aunt Rachel Schmidt, from your busy schedule, you found time to help me. And my cousin Rosie Clark, as he also found time to help me. I had two incredible interns, Michal Mankiewicz and Amalia Tolchin. We were like day camp. We woke up early in the morning, we were at the train station collecting signatures. And then in the afternoon, we went to Amun's pizza shop and we <laughs> gave out balloons, pens, pencil cases, and then at night we went door to door. You were an amazing team. Thank you both so much. <laughs> and then we had the team on the street. Yaiwi Weiss, your It was his idea to make the tents, the beach balls, the song that you and Ari sang. You made Garth Pop rock. And Javi Kishore, Yaku Bar, Chesky Davis, Shimmy Rubin, you boys were just unbelievable. Ocean Tiger, you made sure that we had such organization on all of the collection days. And tonight, it's such a success because you didn't stop working on it. Thank you. I was very lucky that I met Leslie Kostetner. He is one of the most talented young Hasidic men out there. He is a political analyst par excellence, and I'm lucky that he came in to help me on my campaign. Thank you. Gary Tolbert, Gary was the campaign manager who didn't stop working. And he was here and he said, I'm going to make you a judge. I looked at him and I said, really? Thank you, Gary. You made it happen. <laughs> I want to thank the caterer before it gets too late, Menachem Lichtenstein, for putting up with me because you did a great job, Menachem. I want to thank you to the activist of Shlomo Braun because he encouraged me and made me feel like I could win this race. The attorneys who supported me and helped me throughout this campaign, I have to mention their names. Izzy Goldberg, David Berg, Rachel Blumenthal, Bob Tolton, and Mara Tolton. Thank you so much. There's an attorney sitting here, Faye Stern, who really deserves honorary mention. It's because of her that I went beyond being a legal secretary. Thank you, Faye. thank my office staff. I used to be a secretary myself, and I know that a successful lawyer needs to have good secretaries. I want to thank Lucky Gubis, Kaitoko Weissman, Rosie Gutsman, and Perry Kabad for putting up with me and helping me reach this point. I wanted, I wanted to save the best for last. I want to talk about a young group of boys who I call the Kiddush Hashem Club. Boys, please come up. Come forward. <laughs> it was the last hour of primary day, and I was so nervous. 
I was on 18th Avenue campaigning on 48th Street. And a group of boys on their bike come by. And I told them, boys, in one hour, I'm going to know if I want to win or not. And I said, could you vote for me? And they said, we can't vote for you. I said, could you talk for me? And in an instant, sure, I'm all going to And these boys made it happen. I want to let I want to let these boys know that they are our future and they have a lot of potential and I want them to know that wherever they go they should make a Kiddush Hashem because people are going to watch them and they're going to look at them and boys I want to be invited to your bar mitzvahs. Thank you for your Campaign treasurer. When my daughter Naomi offered to be my treasurer, neither she nor I had any idea what work that would entail. She still hasn't finished working, and Naomi, you should know that all your hard work is incredibly appreciated. I have reached a watershed in my life. Yes, it is a dream. And my dream is now a reality. There's a famous Hebrew proverb which teaches, Kal Hathalos Kashos. All beginnings are hard, and I am no exception to the rule. Ben Zola was a Tana, a sage, who lived during the second century of the Common Era. And he's quoted in the Mishnah, which is the precursor to the Talmud, in Ethics of the Fathers. And he says, Who is wise? And he answers, one who learns from everyone. Who is honorable? One who honors his fellows. To my new colleagues on the bench, fellow judges, I humbly say with respect, I am the newcomer. I have a lot to learn, and I'll be looking to you and learning from you. But I will teach you about the mysterious Hasidic world, often shrouded in secrecy with many misconceptions. One of the misconceptions that there are is about women, and I hope to clear that up. <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to salute my fellow religious female EMTs for your unwavering support. My fellow EMTs, we did two campaigns together. We created as a Nushin, the old female volunteer EMT agency, the first ever as a Nushin. And you helped me win this campaign. You covered me for the shifts that I couldn't take, and you helped me prove that Hasidic women can do great things. Please, every member of Ezra Nushin, please rise so we can recognize you and applaud you. Because I can't do anything without my mother. And to the judges who reached out to me, I say thank you. Judge Peter Sweeney, you offered me guidance, and I accept your offer. <laughs> Judge Esther Wardenson, you helped me way back when, when I was interning for you during my undergrad in Toro College. And Judge Stephen, Shlaney Wisowski, and your wife, Antifa, you helped me plan this event tonight. And Judge Noah Fear, your guidance, your optimism, and your being the man which gave you all the peace. Judge Elect, Odessa Kennedy, thank you for campaigning with me in your new love and marriage. Yes, this is a dream. It's the American dream. Helen Keller said, optimism is the faith. That leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. And I say that hope is the underpinning of the American dream. 
My maternal grandparents were Holocaust survivors. They're no longer here with us, but I'm sure they're proud up in heaven. My Zadie, my grandfather, survived the Siberian labor camp. My Bobby, my grandmother, she survived Auschwitz and the death camps. My paternal grandfather perished in the Holocaust, but not before we arranged for his wife to hide in the Belgian sanatorium, and his son, my father, to hide in the Belgian convent as an ultra boy. My mother escaped Hungary in 1956 at the Communist Revolution, when no country would take them. America opened your doors, giving my family hope. <laughs> and the Lazarus' famous words come to mind. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. My mother instilled in us, her children, to be grateful that we live in this great country. In Hebrew, we call America a malchus shal chesed, a kingdom, a government of kindness. As a result of the vision of the founding fathers of this great country, I was able to maintain the standards of a woman from the Hasidic community and achieve the position of civil court judge. For this, I thank God, I thank America, and I pray that God continue to bless America. Just one, uh, one more, just one more short, a uh, few words from someone, an elected official, who really was in the forefront and believed. Please believe.